Welcome back to Educator.com. This is a lesson on the axial skeleton. The axial skeleton is the part of the skeleton that's along your axis. So A-X-I-S, just like the axis of the Earth, just down the middle. This is the middle of your body, so every bone that's in that section is considered part of it. So, of course, that includes the skull, all the bones involved with that, the hyoid bone, one of the ones most people don't know about right here, the vertebral column, also known as the spine, and the thoracic cage, also known as the rib cage. So we're going to start with the skull at the most superior portion of the axial skeleton. The cranium is all of this business right in here. And that includes the frontal bone, the parietal bones, the temporal bones, the occipital bone. You can see we have a sagittal cross section straight through the skull here. There are two other bones that are associated with the cranium. They're forgotten often. That's the sphenoid, which is right here, and the ethmoid bone which makes up a lot of the nasal cavity that's in here. So they do articulate with those other cranial bones. They form at least a part of the cranial uh, cavity, so they're considered part of the cranium as well. The frontal bone right in the front uh, includes two major parts I want to mention. Uh, the sinuses. Sinuses are hollow cavities within bone. The two frontal sinuses are approximately here. And sinuses serve a, a couple purposes. One of them is these hollow portions within the bone make the bone weigh less. It has slightly less mass. If all of the sinuses, the eight cavities in our skull, were filled in the bone, our skull would be a little bit heavier. And if that was the case, maybe we'd be used to it. But having that... Uh, slightly hollow area does reduce the weight of the bone. And also, you, you within those cavities have mucous membranes that can create secretions for the sake of catching bacteria and viruses before they spread deeper into um, more vulnerable organs within the body. So actually some of the cavities or sinuses that we're going to talk about in this skull section of the lesson, they do connect to the nasal cavity in terms of producing mucus and helping to clean out that area. So if you ever get a, uh, a headache that you just feel right here, it could be because you have swelling within the sinuses of your frontal bone. Sutures. Sutures are those immovable joints that connect a bone to another bone. So you do have sutures that connect the frontal bone to the uh, parietal bones on the sides. You have sutures right here. that connect the frontal bone to the maxillae, uh, the nasal bones, which we'll get to later. And so part of the frontal bone does form part of the orbit of the eye. The orbit of the eye would be the giant eye holes that you see in the skull. That's the frontal bone. Next up, the parietal bones. And you can see uh, there is a major suture right here. Uh, this is just simply called the sagittal suture. Uh, I'm not going to draw that the whole way down, but uh, that connects the two parietal bones to each other. You can see also there is a suture right here connecting it to the frontal bone. So the two parietal bones together, the most superior and lateral cranial bones in the entire skull because they're right up here on the top. And you can see the little bulges on the side. Uh, this part of the skull right here is the most to the side of, of any other part of the head. You can see that I don't list sinuses here. There aren't any major sinuses in the parietal bones. But something else that's of interest, before I move on, is the fontanelles. The word fontanelle generally is associated with infants. Uh, those soft spots of the, of the baby's head that you're supposed to be careful with. Uh, when a baby comes out, you want the skull to be slightly flexible so that they can get through the birth canal properly and also to allow for lots of brain growth that happens in the first several years of life. In my skull, there are no more fontanelles. Those soft spots have now been filled in with hard bone and there are full-on immovable sutures. Those fontanelles uh, in, in a baby's skull those are soft spots that you're going to see uh, where the sutures will one day be when they're full grown.